You know what? I've made my decision, and we're going with it. From now on, the party is going to be Dart, Rose, and Albert. Wait, I'll replace. Besides, Hashel's going to get his time to shine again later on, technically. But anyway, let's go ahead and equip Rod Typhoon on Albert. And enter the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Why is it that sometimes it's so hard for me to just do what I want to do, you know? <laughs> like, I want to use Albert, so I'm going to use Albert. Anyway, yeah, as soon as we enter this dungeon, there's quite a nasty mess here. Yeah, at least the game doesn't even try to hide it. Like, who else would have done this, seriously? You know, this is, like, unrecognizable. Like, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. It looks like part of a wing, maybe a head? I think that's an eye? I don't even know. But yeah. Like, even if he's not fighting in the main party, I mean, Hashel's still here for the journey. He's still here, protecting Dart. You know, I feel like everyone... Like, like even if it doesn't... You know, it's like, even if... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, even if your characters aren't actually even fighting in the party, I think technically they are still fighting, because how else would they gain experience? Like, whenever we encounter these monsters, I imagine everybody must actually be fighting together. Oh, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't buy that, uh, that spear <laughs> for Albert. Oh, well. Yeah, I just imagine everybody must be fighting together, because how else would they, you know, all be gaining experience after battle, even if they didn't, like, participate in the battle, seemingly? Entirely sure on which way to go. Well, I went the wrong way. Technically the right way, but it's the wrong way if you want to get an item. By the way, if you want definitive proof that the direction that you run in on certain screens greatly increases how quickly you get an encounter, these screens are perfect for that. Yeah, look how quickly that shot up, despite how slow it went up when you're going the other way. <laughs> I'm sure I've proved that before. Like earlier in the game, but if you want definitive proof, the tunnels in the Mountain of Mortal Dragon are all the proof you need. That it definitely depends on the direction you're going in. <laughs> I'm not used to using Albert. Yes, go. Madness, hero. Die. More and more. But yeah, the Mountain of Mortal Dragon can be a little bit confusing for some people because all of these tunnels look the same. 
Well, okay, there's not a tunnel here. But there's multiple tunnels. I think there's like five or six of those tunnels. Obviously, the key to not getting lost is just remember, you know, which one you came out of. in these odds right now. I was kind of dumb for going in here unprepared. <laughs> Whatever, you know what? We're still doing it. You know what? I'm going to heal up in this fight. I'm, I'm going to revive Rose. And then I'm just gonna heal, so yeah, I'm probably gonna cut out like probably five minutes of stuff here. And by heal, I mean I'm gonna guard heal. So I don't have to use any items. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I, I've been thinking about how to word this and how to say this, because this might sound really dumb to some people. But, you know. Like, this isn't really the reason that I was using him, but one of the reasons that I really didn't want to remove Hashel from the party is because... Well... I, I know this is going to sound really weird, but... I love my own grandpa, you know? Like, not just my grandpa, but also my grandma. I mean, I call them Granny and Granddad, but, you know, they're two of the most important people in my life, and they've made a huge, huge difference difference to my life, and I, on I honestly owe my entire life to them, and, like, I'm not saying that Hashel is my grandpa or anything, it's just that, like, when I, it's like, Hashel has fought together with Dart all the way up until this point, you know, and, I don't know, I, I guess I just feel like, you know, I, I guess I feel like, you know, you know, like, Dart trusts Hashel, and Hashel trusts Dart, you know, and they want to protect each other and fight together and, you know, guard each other's back, but I, I guess I feel like if I remove Hashel from the party, then I'm somehow, like, shunning my own grandpa or something. I'm not really shunning, but it just, I just, I don't know. I, like I said, it sounds really stupid, but sometimes I just get those thoughts in my head. It's like... Thoughts like that cross my mind, and I end up feeling guilty over things that I honestly shouldn't feel bad about it at all. I mean, it's just a game, and these characters have nothing to do with me. It's not even my own grandpa. It's just... I don't know. I just think it's really cool how they can all fight together as a family, you know? <laughs> and I guess, like, like, if I'm kicking... You know, it's like if I'm kicking Hashel out of the party, then it's like I put my own grandpa in his place, and I just think, like, how would he feel if I kicked him out of the party and didn't want him to fight with me anymore, you know? Like, it's just that kind of thing just crosses my mind, and it just makes me feel bad. But you know what? What I said is true, though. I mean, even if they're not fighting, you know, in the forward party, I think everyone is fighting together, and everybody's still on this journey together, so, you know, it really doesn't matter who I use in the main party. Like, I'd never even really, really thought about it that way until this playthrough, I don't think, but yeah. <laughs> like, sorry if that whole thing sounded really weird to all of you, it's just, you know, that's the kind of things that go through my mind sometimes. But anyway, now that I got that out of the way and it's been made, you know, perfectly clear, like, how I think about all this, let's move on and let's fight our way to the top of this mountain and take down the Divine Dragon. So here's another one of those items. Healing Breeze! We really needed that. Hey, Granddad. Go ahead and put the pizza in the oven, okay? Okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna have pizza soon. And yes, I do live with my grandparents, for those who don't know. I've lived with them pretty much all my life. Hence why they are very important people to me. I don't think I actually said that on sync because I don't know the, the game audio and the commentary is a little bit um off sync from what I'm actually hearing at the moment. Not entirely sure by how much. That, that's something that can't be helped though. That's just how Elgato is. Giganto armor. For the character I never use. Well, let's go ahead and put it on him anyway. Wait. Oh, wait. Must have been further down here somewhere. Oh, well, duh. It's on the very bottom. Wow, that is a huge defense increase. What Congo really needs, though, is increased magic defense. If he had much better magic defense, I'd use him more often, but his magic defense is just so crippling. Of course, if you put a legend cask on him, <laughs> I, I never even, like, I never even really thought to do this myself. Like, I saw someone post something on the boards earlier. Someone said if you put, like, a legend cask on him and then put a bandit's ring and, uh, bandit shoes on him, then he's effectively unstoppable, and I was just thinking of that in my head, and I'm like, that's hilarious. Because the Legend cast would, you know, get rid of the magic defense problem, he has really high physical strength, and then it's like if you put the speed boosting accessories on him, then, you know, it'll solve his speed problem, so... I guess you could probably turn Kongo into one of the best characters in the game if you really wanted to. Also, I think this is the last enemy type that we haven't encountered here yet. I feel like Dart's gotta hit Dragoon level 5 before too long. Also, I need to seriously stop messing up Albert's additions. Yeah, I remember why this place used to confuse me some. Um, like, sometimes I would get turned around. Oh, hey, we got a dragon helm. Awesome. Why is the dragon helm awesome? I'll show you why. Yup. That is amazing for Rose, because, you know, her HP isn't really that high. <laughs> But yeah, it's like sometimes I would get turned around in those tunnels after a battle because I would forget which direction I was going in. But an easy way to tell is just not touch the controls. You know, like after the battle, like don't touch the controls until the screen pops up and whatever uh, 
you know, direction Dart is facing, that's the direction you were walking in, so that's an easy way to tell. Time to end this thing. Oh look, a total vanishing that I totally don't need. I'm just gonna waste that on whatever I fight next. Bye-bye. Okay, so now I'm going to equip the glaive on Albert. Because the Divine Dragon is actually a non-elemental enemy, so yeah, the Twister Glaive is going to totally suck for that. I left it on up until now just because of those spider enemies, because, you know, they're weak to it. Wait a minute, I missed something. Where is it? I think I missed something. I'm looking for the speed down item. Where the heck is it? Look how strong Albert is, though. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it was past this screen. I, w I was thinking this was the last screen before the boss. I think it's after this screen, though. It has to be. Or not? Ah, whatever. I'll, I'll find it after the fight. <laughs> using Albert for nostalgic reasons, though. Because Albert actually is a really good character. It's like, his main problem is his magic defense, and he has a bit lower speed. 
you know, like natural speed than everyone else, but it was never really a major problem for me, as I'm sure I've said many times before. So I think Albert actually is a really good character to use, despite what many people think. Almost dead, you sure about that? We gotta handle the dragon first. wiggle. They, like, move on their own. That is really weird. Like, it reminds me of, like, centipede legs or something, the way they move like that. It's, ugh. Anyway, let's do this! There it goes. So yeah, the Dragon Block Staff greatly reduces the power of both the Divine Dragon and your Dragoons. So yeah, Dragoons are a no-no for this fight. Anyway, the Divine Dragon has three parts you can attack. The main body, the cannon, and the ball. I'm sure it's not its testicles, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why it's called that. But like with some of the other bosses, if you defeat um, the other two parts first, it'll remove some of its attacks. You can actually almost eliminate the cannon and the ball. By the way, speaking of the ball, um, it's what does this attack right here. But you can actually eliminate um, both of those almost instantly with a really powerful attack item, which we're going to do right now. We're going to use Spectral Flash, because I said I was going to save this for the Divine Dragon. At least I think I did. Because it definitely helps to get rid of the ball and the cannon. Especially the cannon, because that thing hurts. Okay, are we going to do anything? Alright. Okay, the cannon and the ball are still pretty strong. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use a healing breeze. Let's not risk it. I might have Rose throw some more attack items. I'm just going to... Ah, shoot! This causes fear. Oh, that just blows. Seriously? Fear on everyone? And I have exactly three mind purifiers. Well, that's nice. Uh, you know, Dar's not going to be able to cause very much damage anyway. You know, because Madness Hero isn't a very strong addition. Uh, 
throw a night raid. Actually, uh. yeah. Actually, I'm gonna use power up on Rose, and then I'm gonna have her throw a night raid. I, I really should have powered her up before throwing the spectral flash. That was kind of unwise of me to do, or to not do, I should say. Okay, it's Divine Ball again. Okay, let's hopefully take both these things out now. Joking with me, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep using attack balls on it. You know, um, I'll be honest with you guys, before fighting this boss, I was actually going to put on my why do I always say I why, why do I always say I'm gonna be honest? Because I wasn't gonna be dishonest about it anyway. It's a habit of mine to say that. But, uh, yeah, it's like, um, I was gonna put on my strongest additions before going in and fighting this guy, because I usually do that, but, um, yeah, it's like, I was thinking there was going to be one more screen before getting to the Divine Dragon. I think I just threw something useless. Oh, no, it's a... Okay, we got this in the bag. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. But yeah, it's like I was thinking there was gonna be one more screen, because I was thinking, where the heck is the speed item? You know, the speed uh, down item. But then I ended up getting thrown right into the fight with really weak additions. So we just gotta make do with what we've got here. But we should be fine at this point. Since we've eliminated the ball and the cannon, we won't really have too much to worry about. Actually, the Divine Dragon can cast magic. It can cast some uh, tier 3 magic on you. Oh, wow, it's in the red. Okay, we got this. Yeah, I'm not even going to use another attack item on it. Let's finish it off with additions. Hey, look at this, though. We're still getting through the fight. I should probably have Dark Heal. I'm actually surprised it hasn't done a magic attack on me yet. Usually when I fight this thing, it attacks pretty frequently. I mean, it uses magic pretty frequently. Oh, here we go! Of course, right when I say that. 
Oh, well that's weak. Even with fear status, that barely does anything. Okay, I shouldn't say barely does anything. It kind of hurts, but not that much. Oh, hey, I think we won. Yep. Finish it, Dart. The spirit of the divine dragon? Does that mean there's a divine dragoon? Let's hope Lloyd can't use it. Oh hey, dragoon level 5, sweet! Red eye dragon! Yeah, when you hit a uh, dragoon level 5, which is the max level, um, you gain the ability to actually summon your respective dragon. for a massive attack. Oh, well that's good. I think Lloyd's already overpowered enough. If he turned into a Dragoon, I don't think we'd ever stop him. Then again, maybe Lloyd's not all that tough. I mean, he did, you know, just kind of wait for us to take down the Divine Dragon before jumping in and striking the final blow. Well, I guess he was fighting with it one-on-one -on -one before we got here, though. Who knows how long he was fighting. Huh. That sound effect is familiar. I wonder if Lloyd's... Nah. Okay, so we've taken down the Divine Dragon. Now let's find that treasure chest. Oh yeah, you can actually go back to it and check it, I think. Nothing here, though. I just, I know the chest is hit. Oh, wait, wait, that's it right there, I think. Yes, here we go. There's speed down. That chest is so well hidden. 
I actually, I don't think it was until my previous playthrough that I even knew that existed. Like, I always found it so weird that there seemed to be like a power up and a power down and a speed up, but it's like I was never able to find a speed down item. And then one day I found it there. Oh hey, we confused the spider. Alright, let's focus on the beastie dragon then. I got there without a battle. Alright, we are going to end the episode right here. And on the next episode, we make our triumphant return. See ya, everyone.